Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. I got a message from Dan asking me if I would do a video on pulling the motor out of the Lionel 8040. And I've been working on this when he was watching the video on the uh, installing the headlight. Anyway, uh, he asked if I would uh, do a quick video on removing the motor, so I figured perfect place to do it is right here on the bench. So, the 8040, straight up, most Lionels disassemble exactly the same way. You got a front mounting bracket that also holds the front truck, two screws, uh, Phillips head in this case, one screw on the top just forward of the uh, selector for forward and reverse. That's it, it's pretty straightforward. Now, what I do is before you pull this motor out of here, pull the side rods off. And the reason for that is, if you have to run the motor out of the shell, there's nothing that's more difficult than trying to fight this motor with these side rods flopping around. So it's just easier, in my opinion, to remove them. So just use a standard screwdriver, pull the bit out, and it fits these bolts perfectly. So you just unscrew these directly off the wheel. There they are. And then just take the push rod off. Really, really straightforward, really simple to do this. Same thing on the other side. It only takes about 30 seconds to pull this motor out of here. So loosen the bolt, take it out of the wheel, pull off the side rod, set it aside. Go to this side, and I'm using a small flat blade, it just makes it easier, I think. Pull out the screw on this side, let it fall out, screw on this side, doing this through the camera so it's difficult to do this okay so there's the two screws front mount set it aside now you can run it like this which makes it really easy to test this motor but we're going to take it completely out of the shell now we go up to the top remove the top screw set it aside and the motor comes out the bottom as you see and it just unhooks from the uh, draw bar and rear truck. And that is it. So while this is out, you can see how I've mounted this headlight. I originally had it on top facing forward, but it's too close to the plastic that way. The drawback to these E10 bulbs is they get hot. If this thing's on for three minutes and you touch it, it'll sizzle your finger. I mean, they get intensely hot. So as you see, it was pretty simple to uh, mount this. And I've just, uh, put it on a bracket and then bent the bracket up. So this is in line with the lens, but it has more than enough space above it to dissipate the heat. So it works rather well. So anyway, that's how you remove the 8040 motor. It's really, really straightforward, really simple to do. And like I said, if you're gonna be running this, there's nothing more difficult than having those push rods flopping around. So it's much easier to remove them. It only takes a second and uh, you trust me, you'll thank yourself if you're going to have to work on this motor. It's just easier to work on it without those push rods flopping around. So it's really, really simple, straightforward. It only takes a minute to remove it. Uh, reverse the procedure to reassemble it, of course. And uh, it's a really, really simple motor, uh, straightforward, uh, very similar to the Marks. It has a brush plate and two brushes. And uh, the thing about these things is the drawback to them, I think, is a Lionel. You can't lubricate it when it's in the shell. Usually you can't ac access anything past that gear. So in most cases, you have to take it out to uh, clean the brushes and the armature and properly lubricate it. Anyway, a straightforward process. It's easy. It's simple. It only takes a minute. So that's how you remove the motor from the Lionel 8040. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.